All right, hello everyone, welcome back. Another Expert Mode League match coming at you. We've got Mike T. Mikey versus Eric Van Wildman, Wilderman, EVW here. And this should be a good one here. I am Philly Dope, joined again by Any Asperg. Welcome back. Thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, EVW, as I like to call him. Uh, Eric Van Wilderman, uh, two and two against uh, Mike T. Mikey. Looking for... His first win, 0-4 at the moment, but definitely can turn that around. As we have our stat sheets up here. Yeah. yeah. EW would be able to get a third win. Yeah, and already updated with the uh, Beast's most recent win there. Let's get started. Beginner course with some hidden jumps for experienced players. <laughs> you always wonder when you see first course. All right, first course, don't take damage. And uh, Mike T. Mikey making some experienced jumps, not taking damage. Eric already having to start over. And Mike T. Mikey right behind him. Definitely a tough little level here. Yeah, just there's a lot going on, really. I mean, the, you know, fire coming in from multiple spots, really. I mean, you just... It doesn't look super, super difficult, but certainly you can get tripped up pretty easily, you know, if you're not expecting a fireball from one direction, and then, you know, suddenly you get one. Yeah, and... Uh, Eric avoiding some of that enemy spam there, avoiding some of those spinies, maybe uh, trying to get up and over. And the creepers, slow and steady on creepers. Mike T, Mike E, finding a, finding some progress, getting through a pipe there. Yeah, as EVW just gets caught on the end of one of those creepers there. I thought he was through, but. Yeah, Mike T, Mike E, taking the, the flag in the clear, taking the lead, 1-0. Just beat Boom Boom, but how? It says there's no hidden blocks or funny business. I didn't catch the final tooltip there. We'll, I'm sure, see it in a moment as EVW has picked up his first clear. So we'll see uh, what that level description is, the final part of it there, in just a moment. This tip, the ramp is important, so. Okay. So uh, Mike T. Mikey trying to go up that ramp and run into him. Looks like taking a skip. Yep. Yeah, not not sure what to do with that ramp. Reach the goal as Super Bowl Mario. So a little outer space world. And um I can't I can't tell, let's see. Lost the power up, gonna hope for another Super Bowl in here. Gets and, the uh, moon. Yep, that's good enough. And good level creator giving him an extra Super Bowl there. Yeah. Have to get through this section, we'll see exactly what this entails. I'm not entirely sure exactly what needs to occur here, but. EVW taking that skip as well, being tired of that level, heading into rocket ground, I guess. Um. So we're, we're synced up here on the uh, Super Bowl level. Yeah, close, and of course with the one clear each. And yeah, once again, uh, crouching down through there, getting the key, moving on to the next level here. EVW getting through the door, so on to the next part here. And it looks like Mike T. Mikey is understanding how to use that Super Bowl, finding the clear, getting the flag, 2-1 lead. Yeah, and EVW made it through, but didn't have the mushroom to uh, break uh, through that section. So we'll need to make it through without at least taking two hits of damage here. We need to hit this moon again and 
clear uh, Bowser out. And there it is. Oh, boo. <laughs> Mike T, Mike E, 29 second world record on this uh, boo level. And it looks like a hold right, run right. A few jumps here, making it look easy. There's a lot going on. It. I'm always impressed by how these runners, I mean, a lot of the speed runs, of course, do involve just holding right, but uh, when there's so much going on, sometimes it's it can be quite easy to miss, you know, a path that you might need, so it's impressive to see them go through these. Oh, totally agree. Uh, with with everything on the screen right now, you know, the, the enemies, the even that just little jump right there is, is always hard to, to suss out. So yeah, so much chaos. There. Yeah, and, and we see the end there, uh, but I have to get back through the other side of the subworld. Eric Van Wilderman, uh, tying it up, two two. Moving on to this uh, crazy, crazy speed run. Good lord, it's a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> lord, spelled the southern way. Yeah, so both with two clears a piece here and on this uh, speed run level. Getting chased by that bomb, head heading right into a billion bullet William as they call him. <laughs> the other thing too, of course, with these uh, levels when there's a lot more going on is often with the on off levels, I mean they're precise of course. Um, but with these there's because there's so much more going on, there's also the chance that you can make like a slight jump error, you know, sort of midways and really mess it up, whereas with the on-off, again, they're precise, but sometimes you have a little more leeway with, like, the height of your jump. I mean, it depends, but there's definitely a lot to take in. Yeah, you can you can tell on this speedrun that little mini jumps and, yeah, a lot of precision, but Mike T, Mike E, figuring it out, getting the tape and uh, taking the lead for the moment, 3-2. And uh, really close, to, if he didn't get the world record, they're really close to it. Okay, so we got a uh, Mewtwo Mew D2 challenge. <laughs> EVW picks up the clear, so 3-3 three, three now. He'll head into the next one. Mike T, Mike E level that uh, EVW is going to head to is only 20 seconds, so it's definitely clearable, but 5.66 clear rate. You got what it takes. Patience. All right. So maybe a survival? Some kind of survival area here? Waiting for that. What's our enemy called here? Yeah, we, we got to get Bowser to drop down through the, the block so that you're able to progress. Uh, or actually, rather, sorry, not through the blocks. You need him to not drop through the block so that you're able to uh, to survive long enough to get the key looks like mm -hmm. so we got an angry sun coming at you we got red bullets coming at you and and mike t mike e actually taking the skip does not want to yeah. do that anymore all right so it looks like we have one skip left for mike t mike e and two for evw indeed And it looks like uh, moving on to Underground Fortress. That's a pretty straightforward title name. EVW getting Bowser down there and uh, hitting the axe. Yeah, give it up, EVW, to yourself. I agree. Yeah, a little perseverance there went a long way, actually, because, of course, now has the clear lead in this uh, set. So we'll move on uh, to the course that Mike is on. But, of course... Um... You know, has the uh, advantage and clears at the moment. Yeah, and and this level that uh, Mike T. Mikey is is moving on to, uh, close to a minute. So, uh, actually, over a minute, sixty four seconds. So every time taking a death, making it a little harder. A little time. Yeah, to it's it's a long way to go back. I haven't seen any sort of checkpoints or anything yet. Doesn't mean there isn't one, but at least not in the early parts of the stage. So 
So doing a little platforming on those skull platforms, working through the spikes, trying to avoid that big fireball coming at EBW. Yeah, those are those can be tricky to avoid, you know, in general, but of course with the timing and those platforms not lasting super long, so you do have to really be careful. And it looks like uh, Mike T. Mikey just right behind in terms of where they're at in this level, almost sicked up, just a little bit off with each other. Yeah, EPW picked up the other power up a moment ago. There is a fire flower up there, but still has a just you know the mushroom, so we'll opt to leave that alone for the moment. Into a pipe, we'll see where that takes. Some Koopa jumps, uh, still riding that platform. We got there's so a... we... Yeah. Power yeah, boost. There's the X. Yeah, sorry about that damage boosting to the end there. And uh, I hope that Mike T. Mikey will have a damage boost left, but can definitely make it through there. It's just going to make it a little harder. Yeah, we'll just need to, uh, you know, adjust the jumps a little bit. Classic kind of challenging snow level. Frosty fun. So yeah, Mike T. Mikey taking a little more time but making it to the axe. Still behind by one because Eric Van Wilderman cleared that one level, but not this one. Does not want to play in the snow. Yeah, so that's second skip for Eric. Alright, I think that should leave them both one left with four minutes, so they, they should be fine when it comes to skips. Yeah, I can see that that frosty fun one's right on the cusp of the 90 seconds. And, oh, EBW skipping again. Yeah, so that's the last skip for Eric. Interestingly, uh, you know, some of you may wonder why, you know, they see, uh, of course, the... They see the um, uh, uh, world record there before they enter the course. So you think, oh, it's super long. Why don't they just not go into it? Uh, the rules are that you have to at least go into the level before you're, uh, you know, allowed to... Uh, exit out and skip it, so you have to at least have a glance at it, even if you know you're not going to stick with it. Yeah, which I'm kind of surprised Mike T. Mike is staying with this with the amount of time it's going to take. Um, but maybe wanted to give it a shot, give it a look, because world records aren't always exact. Uh, we see plenty of our players get better world records than what what is already shown. Yeah, it's really only speed runs that are, are close, and sometimes even that by a couple seconds, but but really, that's when you have a really close margin. And so if those, if, you know, if it's a 30 second level and the world record something like 28 seconds, but you know, even with 30 seconds, you know, of course, that it can be no longer than that. So at the very least, uh, you know, even if it's challenging, you're not spending as much time redoing it. And it looks like uh, EVW is on a level 19 seconds, but it's one one, but harder. Yeah, a little bit harder when you go through a pipe and come up with spikes. So I believe tried the dev exit and now going up and over, seeing if he can find the end to this different 1-1. One, one. Yeah, get to clear. <laughs> Excited there, <laughs> EVW. The, that uh, yeah, that's a good, dude, good reaction. I just saw a couple questions in chat here. Um, it, this match itself, the players pre-recorded it earlier on. We have a mix. It depends on the player's schedule. We have a mix of live um, and, and pre-recorded. None of us, except for the runners themselves, know the result of the pre-recorded ones. Obviously, the live ones are live. Um, and so, yeah, with the pre-recorded ones, nobody but the runners know the results. Sometimes you'll see them hanging out in chat. I think I saw both of them in here earlier, but so, but for us, as well as the commentators, we have no additional insight. It's, it's live as, live as seen for us as well, so. Yeah, and I think uh, EBW lives in, what, South Korea, so. Mm -hmm. might, might be a little easier for a schedule to, to record at different times. Yeah, definitely a bit of a interval difference there. Okay, so it looks like uh, Mike T. Mike took his last skip on that level. Um, so EVW with a minute left having the clear lead, six to four. Um, and Mike T. Mikey finding a link level. It's 
So it's going to be a tough hill to climb, um, unless this is a sh it gets a couple more short levels. Yeah, with 30, just over 30 seconds, it, it isn't looking great so far. It's pretty tough and doesn't have a power up at the moment either, so. Yeah, so lost. Mike just hanging out there by the power block. <laughs> maybe that's the, maybe he's doing the Mario dance. Maybe that's what that is. Eric in chat, they're saying often he can do live because it's, yeah, that's right. It's around, well, yeah, it's 11.15 or something like that right there in, in Korea right now, right? If I, if I recall my time zones correctly, but yeah, I remember you've had a lot of live matches there. And Mike giving it, he, dancing till, dancing to his death. Dance <laughs> till he died. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, so first set going to EVW here, so uh, it'll be a 6-4, to four, I believe, would be the final score on that one. So first set of three going to EVW. Oh man, he, really fun to watch and and very, you know, uh, shows it on the webcam how much fun he has playing this game. It's fun to watch him. And uh, Mike T. Mikey, right up till the end, this was a really close match. All right, so we're going to start out with what? Japanese level with a minute 21 clear. Yeah, it looks like it. We'll have to see. Uh, they'll just quickly confer here about which level to the both start on the same one. So they'll just be having a quick chat and then we'll be off to the, the second round. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, might have already tried this one. So one of our players having to move up, move down. Okay, yeah, it looks like a uh, Mike T. Mikey. Happy to move on, catch up with a, let's see, Japanese level with uh, some repeated instructions. 38 second world record, 14 double digit clear, so that's good to see. And uh, any second now, we'll be off. Whoever gets. Uh, the most clears in 15 minutes. We'll take the next set. Yeah, and we'll play all three regardless of uh, regardless of the result. It is a best of three to see who wins it, but they do have to play all three. Um, it does matter uh, for the standings, so it's uh, important to complete all three sets. All right, and uh, looks like with the load time, Mike T. Mike off, getting, uh, trying to avoid that flying Goomba there. He's trying to get him in the head. Finding a fire flower and lots of enemies to kill. Yeah, an interesting start here for sure. And, uh... And we have a key, we have a cat suit. We have the little level creator having a lot of fun. All right, we're in a subworld here, moving through. Uh, no enemies down here, nicely. Getting a cat suit, getting a star. Yeah, I would, I would want one of those stars when I have Piranha Creepers, but right there, up and over, get a cat to the end. All right, Mike. Yeah, I wonder where that block is. Taking, uh, both taking the clear, EVW, yeah, EVW, shrugging, yeah, right behind him, maybe about five seconds, gap between the two. Getting some hydration in there, very important. Oh, yeah, remember chat, hydrate. Yeah, it's a new era, we're gamers, but we stay hydrated. <laughs> All right, we got another uh, Japanese title level that I was unable to read, but it looks like a 26-second clip. Um, is this, yeah, pick a path? Oh, dear. We had just a truly horrible one earlier on. <laughs> yeah, EVW finding the ocean, finding the end. Beautiful. So finding, uh, maybe that was the intended route. Yeah, I don't know either. Um, but taking the lead, 2-1. So... If Mike T can find some of that same 
find some of that similar uh, root, he'll, he'll have a shot at this. Reach the goal without taking damage. In a clear uh, condition level, of course, we'll have no checkpoint. <laughs> and uh, EVW laughing because he immediately took damage to those poison mushrooms. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, Mike T spinning his way to the goal. Yeah. Mario time. And I believe that's uh, tying it up 1-1. Yeah, though <laughs> Eric gets the flag just a moment after. In a very animated style. Another question about the pre-recorded in chat. This particular match is pre-recorded, um, but it it really depends uh, on the players, um, w w sort of their their availability. So we had a live one uh, just earlier, and this one is pre-recorded. So it really varies. Okay, archaeology action, thirty-nine second level, and. Uh... Looks like we're all tied up here, two to two. And Mike T. Mikey taking that makes it three to two. Maybe there's a skip. The skip I have, I, I don't remember. Uh, was there a skip there? Oh, I can't exactly remember. I thought that they had. Yeah, because it looks like Mike's got one more clear. So. I think Eric skip. should have three, though. It's, I okay. think, what what's happening, yeah. So I yeah, don't think there was a skip. Does. Okay. Thank you, chat. Okay, so we're all... We should be all tied up here. I thought so, too. I don't have any... I don't have any skips in my book yet for this... this no, go yeah, I don't... I don't recall seeing it. I, yeah, they should be tied at three. I'm sure they'll... We'll sort it out here in a moment. All right. Some on-offs. I like that on-off blowing up that entire wall. And, uh, gonna have to get a lot of those on that seesaw to get the muncher out of the way. Yeah, it's a bit of a process, that's for sure. Yeah, and, uh, Little, I mean, a little bit of a puzzle that you have to figure out. It looks like EVW for unfortunately getting bombed there, but he made it to the checkpoint, so still able to continue to make progress. Yeah. So this, yeah, this particular one is, like I said, pre-recorded, and but we, the commentators, uh, are live every time. And uh, EVW finding the tape, taking the clear, and uh, if if we are correct uh, as the commentators, we have an even match. Um, although the clears, uh, he should be ahead by one now, right? Four three, if we are correct. Yeah, yeah, sure. Hopefully, we'll have that updated, but. And yeah, unfortunately, Mike T, Mike E getting blown up similarly, uh, but having the checkpoint. All right, uh, EBW finding what was called an impossible level with, uh, yeah, first skip over a minute 16 world record, so skipping ahead to uh, avoid that level. And it looks like maybe a 30 second speed run. Looks like it as Mike picks up a clear there, so it's four apiece now. And yeah, nice quick on off level that uh, Mike T, Mike, you will see shortly. Oh, I forgive me, chat, unless he stays with this impossible level. We did see that before when he had a longer level, when Mike T. Mikey had a longer level and did stay with it for a moment. So I guess he's going to start this one to kind of look around, see if he wants to do uh, something he wants to complete. Oh no, Eric uh, taking another death there. 
Yeah, at least knows where he's going, though, on this one, for the most part, so... Could help. And putting on the helmet, I think maybe you needed to throw that. But yeah, um, Mike T, Mikey, staying with this uh, longer level, uh, I think he might have missed his ride. I think he had to ride that up on his side. Uh, so taking a death over there, we'll see if he stays with this level. <laughs> EVW with the excited finding the tape. And taking the clear lead, five to four. Mike T. Mikey had a checkpoint though, so back on his ride, back on his no block ride, <coughs> avoiding these um, impossible cannonballs. Fortunately, it looks straight up, doesn't have to move around a lot. Yeah, it doesn't look super, super difficult, but the timing is, of course, can be a little bit tough. And falling off his ride. Uh, Eric moving on to the ooh -ah level. 57 second world record. Yeah, we'll see and, how uh, uh, accurate that is. Yeah, I think uh, not Zelda calls that stuff below the, the slurp. Or no, the flurp. I believe it's the flirt. That poison <laughs> water below. We're we're gonna come up with our new lexicon chat. We're gonna come up with our new new uh, dictionary of what we call everything. GSA <laughs> GSA trademark. <laughs> oh, and uh, EVW deciding not to play around with that level anymore, and on the second skip. And unfortunately for Mike T. Mikey, having that checkpoint, maybe staying with this level a uh, little longer. EVW having dry shields of the desert, 65 seconds. Yeah, it's interesting here exactly what has to be done, but. Yeah, um, EVW needed to keep his dry bones, so when he, if he goes up through that pipe, he can go flat and avoid these Bullet Williams coming at him. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping Mike T. Mike, he can make some progress this go-around, because each, each attempt here, even with the checkpoints, taking some time. Yeah, definitely a long road up for sure, so wanting to be careful. And does! Finds the tape. Excellent. Ties it up five to five. And so he'll be moving on to I think a twenty the twenty second speed run. Yep, yeah, that is appears to be what is next. Yeah, it's a 30 second speed run, but the world record on it was 20. And uh, EVW, finding the flag. So keeping his lead, or taking back his lead, six to five, finding that. Yeah, we'll see if Mike uh, can avoid the, the bit of the troll on this level, um, as we did see EVW get hit by it once or twice there, so. Yeah. Really good use of those shelmets, very fast. We have oh, and hits the troll there. <laughs> needing to not hit that. Taking the second taboo there. I like it. But yeah, not needing to hit that. And that is the only one there. It's unfortunate in a, in a, a level that's otherwise pretty well designed. I that is the only troll, I believe. But gets hit by it. So we'll have to uh, go again, unfortunately. Yeah. And and you, you called it. You wondered if that troll. And yeah, it did hit. EVW finding a checkpoint on his floating Goombas level. 69 second world record. Yeah, just over three minutes to go here, so starting to get into the area where if you're able to pick up a clear or two here and stay in the lead, you can put yourself in a really good position. Yeah, Mike T. Mikey finding the tape. Um... Six to six with under three to go. 
And uh, does, has Mike T taken any skips this round? No. I was just trying to think, but I don't believe he has. So EBW has one left, and uh, this ooh-ah level was 57 seconds. I think this was one that EBW skipped, so we'll see if he wants to stay on this ooh-ah. <laughs> exactly. Someone saying in chat, we need we need more emotes, uh, or Eric needs more emotes with all of his facial expressions for sure. There's some good ones that you could take even just from this uh, race. <laughs> and finding the tape as we yeah, let's get a tape emote. Finding the tape, taking the lead with two minutes left, seven to six. So it looks like we have on off. It's yeah, the a... level description said yeet yourself, so. <laughs> and uh, the world record being 13 seconds, so it doesn't look like a tight timer. Oh, jumping too far there. Yeah, but uh, again, with these short levels, it is nice. You know, you only invest like 10 seconds before you have to try again, so you don't get too much time lost. Yeah, I would like to see Mike T. Mikey maybe use any of his skips because Eric now finding the tape, taking a two clear lead with a minute left. And yeah, just as I said that, taking a skip. Yeah, no uh, no surprise there, really. I, I think I would have skipped that one as well. Seems like a good, good choice. And the dry shields one uh, being over a minute as well. So skipping that. So yeah, back-to-back -back skips here on Mike T's side as we get down to it. So I believe they have one skip uh, left each. And uh, EBW's world record was about 35 seconds, so has about one shot for this. And... With the levels that Mike T, Mikey e has in front of him, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do this. Come back on this one. Yeah, that should be uh, the GG for this round. We'll see what exactly the clear count is, but I, I think it's probably eight to six. Mike just hanging out here. Yeah, he no, gave he us won't the get through. <laughs> he gave us the dance last time. He's he's given us the swing this time. Some swing dancing. So EVW picking up the second set as well. So that will be a match victory for him. So congratulations. But we'll head into the third set here uh, momentarily. Again, it is important for the standings. Yeah, once again, uh, really great levels on each side. Um, I, for for me, chat, and, and I am a noob, by the way, when it comes to this game, uh, not using some of those skips earlier for Mike T might have saved a little time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but we're heading into match three. Hopefully you can turn it around. Same thing as number one, but longer, higher, and better when I added the four spinies. All right. This level creator using their own level again. Spin jump attack V2. Here we go. Reach the goal as Fire Myro, Mario. Well, Toadette will have to do her best to be Fire Toadette. <laughs> and EVW even laughing at himself for jumping to his death. Yeah, looking for a hidden block if you want him to be Fire Mario. Yeah, we'll see if it's towards the end or something like that. Yeah, or if it, it appears on this kind of mazy go-around that they have happening here. The interesting thing about this level is that it... I mean, we haven't seen the full track yet, but it, from the world record, will not be super, super long. But, it, you know, there's it's very passive. And if you make a mistake, you have to take quite a bit of time to come back, right? Yeah, and Mike T. Mikey not having it, uh, skipping that level and moving on to Welcome to Lazy Town. My kind of town. 
<laughs> so first skip of the uh, round there. And 30 seconds. It looks kind of a little bit of an auto scroll here. Yeah, it doesn't look like you can go over the top by the indication of those blocks there, so... Uh-oh. And needing to know the right path clearly because there's some hidden blocks there. All right, EVW finding the tape. Making it as Fire Toadette, a.k.a. Fire Mario at the end. And finding the first clear. Right behind, Mike T. Mike E. getting the flag. Tying it up one to one. Yeah, now uh, EVW on to the Welcome to Lazy Town. We'll see if he'll be able to navigate it. A pretty simple uh, level for the most part. Didn't you read the title? <laughs> five switch hits on Mike T. Mike E's side. So I'm going to assume five switch hits. 55 second world record. And one. EVW had started over there after getting the uh, little uh, effect, but now it looks like uh, not realizing initially that you could take either path, but he might call it quits, not realizing that you could jump up and through uh, earlier on there, so we'll take a skip. Yeah. And uh, we'll join Mike T. Mikey in this little bit of a trolley five, uh, five switch hit level. Uh, I think uh, there's one, and realizes the POW came down. Last time just did all the five s hits at once, so one, two. And there's gonna be a third. Fourth. Hmm. So five hits maximum, it looks like, and you get... You get sent to your death, so skip. Skip on Mike T. Mike East side. It's a middle hard level. I don't blame him for the skip there, to be honest. I, I think I might have given up on that one as well. Not super thrilled by the prospect of that one. Yeah, uh, it, it wasn't easily intuitive intuitive what was where the five hits came from uh mike t mikey finding a checkpoint on his hard middle level <laughs> and the thwomp hitting the on off and fortunately having that checkpoint so can try these on off blocks again oh no EVW, pow almost coming down, but unfortunately getting coined to his death again. Yeah, but let's still at the one clear here, so. Like finding a hidden key. And um, EVW is sticking with it. I wonder after this one. Yep, exit core. Enough of that. Both uh, have one skip left for the next 10 minutes. Yeah, it's interesting. I wouldn't be surprised, I think, to see Eric skip this level, just given what I've seen from him in the past, but may see him stick with it. Uh, certainly we'll give it a try. It's not really trolly or anything like that. But Yeah, and as you said that, Mike T. Mike E. finding the, the goal there, uh, taking the clear and taking the 2-1 lead. Oh, next level. Hot garbage. All right. Now, See there is a rare situation in which the ones that are called hot garbage actually are good levels. It's rare, but it, 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 it happens from time to time. <laughs> All right. So, uh, the record on this, 28 seconds, getting through the pipe and finding a cape. Hitting a spike, unfortunately, but it has some damage boost. Picking up a P-switch to take to the next sub-world. Yeah, and EVW up. with the skip. So that's the third there. That's not super surprising, in my opinion, but uh, 
Uh, and I think a reasonable skip as well. Um, that that one, I mean, yeah, you know, it takes some time to get back, and I mean, you know, no way to know where that key is. I mean, sure, it's probably in that room, but what if it isn't, right? I mean, you could spend so much time looking for that key. And uh, EVW building the platform as opposed to uh, Mike T. Mikey using the donut blocks to get through the pipe. Keeping keeping the cape this time for Mike Mike T Mikey, and uh, I think you have to hit that P and hit the P switch and took the other one with him. Okay. Because that was the discovery last time that those P switches have to be hit and up and over finding the axe. Excellent. And um, our clear say one to one, two to one. Yeah, it should be 2-1 now. EVW now onto the cape section here. See if he's able to make it through. Does not, but has the P-switch activated. All right. We have a Japanese-level... Uh eight second world record so maybe lots of poison mushrooms but still eight seconds to, to victory yeah as evw gets the clear on the uh, other level there grabs the axe so two apiece <laughs> some great uh, expressions there <laughs> yeah he, he's just such a great streamer to watch a lot of fun to watch yeah, uh, ch check both of these players out if you haven't already, for sure. Mike had the camera on last uh, last week and was super fun to watch as well. So check both of well, check all of the you know the folks racing in this league out. But these two are super fun for sure. Yeah, I mean that's for me as as a fan of of this game. Uh, the speed run is so great for introducing me to new people that I might not have found any other way. And I've heard a lot of people this year talk about Envy, Envy Osti, and, and not hearing about him before this. So I'm mm -hmm. glad a lot of people and introduced to him. Doing really well. Yeah, and really showing why he's, you know, up there with IIPK in, in terms of being a runner. And, uh, yeah, so we got some poison mushrooms and trying a different route. Blue pipe, red pipe. There was a red pipe by the end. Maybe this is the quick way out. Yep. <laughs> they both in there at the exact same time, actually, and EVW is hyped about that one, so three apiece now. All right. Um, so, yeah, we should we should be synced up here three to three. Uh, my thing is I have three skips for Eric and two for Mike T. Mikey, so maybe I just missed another skip. Um, yeah, I had three and two as well, but it may have been... A third skip from Mike that I just missed earlier on. But either way, they, they do both have the three clears. So it's... Yeah. All right, the swinging claw. All right, that is a really straightforward uh, creation there. The swinging claw, we got it. Checkpoint C. Yeah. Always feels good to get a checkpoint, you know, sort of early on, so you know it's not just a horrendously long level, generally. And unfortunately, Mike T, Mikey, and, and the uh, flirt or the poison water. Oh, no. <laughs> and EVW having to wait for this poto bow to come down and clear clear a playoff. Yeah, somebody in chat saying he thinks Mike has an extra clear. If uh, if my if my clears and, and my skips are correct, that is correct. He would have another clear, so we're gonna have to be. We'll check on that as soon as we can. Yeah, completing the one with the hidden keys that EVW skipped. Yeah, I remember EVW skipping that one. Okay, so then that would have been yeah. So he wouldn't have taken the extra skip then, and then. Okay, there we go. Got it cleared up there on the side. Excellent. All right, and um, so going through here, getting the power up. 
And uh, going back, uh, exiting the course. All right, final skip on my mm -hmm. team Mikey's side. So none left. EBW still swinging away. And 3.30 left, uh, 21 second world records uh, as EVW ties it up, finds the flag 4-4. Four, four. Uh, on uh, Mike T. Mike E's side, though, the name of this level, it's a trap. So, trying to figure out where yeah, all the traps we'll see are. what that entails. And neither of them, of course, have skips, so... At least so, not without yeah. taking a penalty. So we'll see. Uh, it's, it could be an interesting level. You sometimes that happens where you just get stuck on a really bad level, and I, we'll see what this one entails. It might be okay, but yeah, and and synced up. You know, all their both of them have all their skips gone. Four four. This is what we like to see at the end. Less than three minutes left. Who can figure it out first? We have one in the sub-world trying to, uh, st choosing to start over because might have to use those blocks to get up somehow. Or just maybe picking another path. Whereas EVW is going to go up and try that path that Mike T. Mike E. was just on. Yeah, I think if you can hit that question, or uh, I'm sorry, the exclamation point at the right point, be able to fly up on those or have enough space to get up on those uh on those boxes yeah i think stacking the problem is is they get knocked off there at the corner and then sort of <laughs> eradicated yeah and it looks like the red the red doesn't seem to come up any further See if that's enough stacking going on. And uh, additionally, oh no, all the boxes falling off. And additionally, we don't even know if this is the the correct way to go. Yeah, exactly. There's just a, over a minute left as well. So if they don't find the end quickly, we could be getting an OT level here. It's always exciting. Yeah, and uh, EVW trying his hand at the stacking to to get up there uh it looks like my t my e found another path in the sub world uh <laughs> lots of enemy spam but an up and over looks like a little timmy section there yeah at work maybe different family members got to uh do different parts of the level for this <laughs> yeah, family uh, Mario Maker level. <laughs> That's right. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe Kimmy is more of the puzzle. The, maybe the puzzle <laughs> style. Kimmy likes the, the enemy spam. EVW into the uh, exclamation block there and ends up just on that other path that Mike found earlier. So not much to be gained from that. It wasn't like it was a dev exit or anything like that. We'll see how far Mike gets or uh, EVW gets here. Sorry. Yeah, did find did find his way through that though. So, um, is this the end? We oh, this is the end. Three, two, one. That, All right. Yeah. Three seconds before the end. Snipe the goal. Oh, I I was thinking OT two, buddy, but sniped it right at the end. So it'll be five four. Wow, very close. What a great finish after all that and that level and then just makes it through that section, through the pipe, and that was it. Oh, what a great end to that match with just mere seconds left. Indeed. Yeah, um, I'm not sure about interviews. I don't see anyone. Uh, Milo, let us know. Oh, we're yeah, good. Yeah, it looks like we'll just head to intermission here, but we'll have another match coming up in just a moment. So thanks for tuning in, everyone. We've got another couple coming up here just in a moment. So GG to both of the runners, EVW and Mike, super close, all three uh, races there. Good game, guys. Good luck in your next set. I have, have it's been Philly Doe, joined by Annie Esberg. Thanks for joining me. All right, have a good night, and uh, stick around for the the next run.
Synced. They are synced now. <laughs> Do whatever. In the lead again. Wow. Side for sure from cheese. Okay, doing it. Move. 